So ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sharon Whiteman, and I partner with Diana Hunter and Gary Knapp, who's away traveling for a couple of weeks right now. We hope you're having a wonderful time, Gary. And um, we partner with each and every one of you attending now and those that watch down the track. We do deeply realize that Saturday mornings are often family time, so we appreciate you no matter when you're taking advantage of this education. Today, we're delighted to have Naomi Joy and... I'll just give you a little bit about her background for those of you that are new to, to her knowledge base and her coaching. Manatech products have changed Naomi's life. She went from struggling with her health to thriving and experiencing peak health and energy levels. She's now a certified holistic health coach with a certificate in nutrition and 12 years experience, there'll be more than that now, in the wellness industry. Her background was in teaching and she owned a traditional retail business. While she was introduced to Mantec because she was looking for income, her wellness experience catapulted Naomi into action. Naomi went from struggling to make ends meet and going further into debt to an international business and traveling the world. One of her favorite things to do is to travel to new destinations and experience the cultures. Naomi is a multi-award winner, including three times recognized as Business Builder of the Year. As one of Manatech's Australasia's top business success coaches, Naomi is well known for her marketing prowess. She's a mom to three beautiful children who are a big reason why she is building this business. In this call, we'll be talking um, all about your marketing. I look like I left something old in the description there, Naomi, apologies. We're talking here about your brand, presenting you to your market and helping you I think, drill down into exactly the way you should be presenting and representing your business and obviously guiding you to the greatest success for in your goal. So Naomi, thank you very much for being here as always. And I'll go back and go off camera and learn and listen. Thank you so much, Sharon and Diana, for having me and everybody on the call. It's so good to see you. And I'm excited for next week to see everybody face to face. That will be awesome. It's been a long time. Um, so I'm excited about that. Um, so today I'm going into a little bit about um, your brand and creating a magnetic brand. Um, particularly today focusing on that branding photography because as some of you probably are aware we're having a, a photographer at conference and there'll be a, a time that you can actually um, have some photos done for yourself but I, I really wanted to take you into detail um, this might be something that you do after conference when you're back in your hometown um, that you take a little bit further and then at conference I'm going to really take you in it's it's information I haven't shared before and it's really uncovering you and how you know your your experiences and everything that you've been through have made you who you are and how you can share that with the world so it's really about you are your brand and i'm going to help you uncover that so but today is more about how to express yourself in that photography because i wanted to to have a, a way to prepare you for that um you know some of you might be a little bit scared i, I know you know definitely photo weren't something that I was wanting to do. Um, so I'm going to take you through that and just share a little bit about my journey and, um, you know, how you can um, get, just get come into that confidence and that self-assurance and, and confidence because people love you um, and they want to connect with you. So let's get into this. Okay, like I said, creating a magnetic brand, um, really focusing on the branding photography side of it. Generally, I would have taken you through uncovering you first, but that's okay. We'll, we'll do this first part. Um, this is actually a course I'm putting together. So you guys get it for free and, um, you know, first up. So <clears throat> understand that the most magnificent you will ever be is yourself. And sometimes, you know, we, we, we push ourselves down, we don't value ourselves, but when you really step into who you are, and this is not about being anyone else, this is, I, I want to show you how to really embrace who you are, and everything that you've experienced, and how you can bring that into the world. People want to hear from you. They do. They want to know your story and they want to be part of it and they want to see themselves in that too. And so um, it'll be that will be part of it. But just 
know that you know you are enough you are worthy and and uh, you know for me I was talking about when I first started and James is like well you got to take some photos and you got to put them up and I'm like I am not doing that and if anyone relates to that just put your hand up you, you, you know you don't didn't really want to put yourself out you're like I, I don't that's I don't want to do that I never put photos of myself you know back in the day I, I hardly was even on Facebook that uh, you know and so I never really liked photos of myself and I definitely wasn't confident in that it, it was awkward and you know uh, and if you relate to that it, I you know I fully understand what you're feeling but I want I want to take you through a little bit about how you can kind of get that focus off off yourself as as much but also embrace who you are and um you know how magnificent you are you are you you don't have to be somebody else and this isn't about you being anybody else I want you to be yourself because when you try to be someone else it it, it doesn't work you, you don't you, you know you come across as awkward it doesn't work but you are enough. And so this is really about embracing who you are. So why branding photography? Um, you know, and I'm going to encourage you, we are getting some photos done at conference if you want. Um, you know, you might not be comfortable there, but this might be something that you do in your hometown. Every hometown will have some sort of branding photographer that you can contact. Um, and you might want to, you know, do that there because, you know, this is about humanizing your brand. You are your business. So remember that you are your business. Sometimes we say, oh, Manatech is our business. It is. It's the tool that we use, but people don't invest in businesses. They invest in people. So understand that. They invest in people, especially for, you know, that solo business person. So, you know, but even you think about like the big brands, you know, there's there's always that that leader that's out in front and you know we we know that Steve Jobs and things like that you, you there there are people that you know that uh, humanize that brand and so remember that you know it, it, it you it's about humanizing your brand this is a little bit of a stat which is interesting visual content is processed 60,000 times faster by our brain than text and it manages to do that within a tenth of a second. So, you know, it's that visual contact that people see first and it draws them in. Um, you know, and I know whenever I put a photo up of me or the family or anything like that, it, it draws people in so much more than just some random photo. Um, and, and it connects to them. It connects, people connect to that visual content. And, and you know, what we put out there tells a story in just that, that fraction of a second. So why branding photos? Well, they get a message across quickly. So that's what I was talking about. It's like, it, it, you know, immediately people can see at this photo, you know, I've got my laptop, I've got a phone there. Um, I'm happy I'm in a, you know that that was actually a beautiful hotel that I was at um, it gets a message across quickly and if you can see there I you know I'm in jeans and a t-shirt but I've thrown a jacket on so you can that you can dress differently as well and and that's my look like I'm going to take you through some different ways that you can be yourself um, they also create a great first impression. So we're always drawn. And, and you don't always have to have those, you know, brand photography photos. This, this can also apply to, you know, we all have great phones, well, most of us. <clears throat> the, the photos on our phones, um, they're really, really good. So you can be doing this, this with, you know, go out with somebody who's good with a phone and start to, to practice and take some photos like that. They also convey an emotion. So, you know, whatever emotion you're wanting, they convey that really quickly and they build trust and recognition. Um, and that's what we're really wanting in the marketplace when we're, when we're you know, on Facebook, on social media, <clears throat> we really want to build that trust and recognition with people. And they also increase perceived value. So if you do have some professional photos that you can use in there, um, they do increase that perceived value. So they see you, 
you know, you're a professional, you're presenting yourself well, and they increase that value. <clears throat> But my biggest thing is be you, you know, don't try to be somebody else. And I, I really, like I said, at conference, I'm really going to dive in deep and help you discover who you are and the, the messages you can bring to the marketplace. <clears throat> Sorry, I'll have a little drink. <clears throat> so be you. Don't try to be anyone else. You know, it's really important that you be you. Um, because that's what people are going to connect with. And that makes business easy. You don't have to, it's, it just becomes an extension of who you are. You know, sometimes we make things so hard and, you know, we, it, it, it's like, oh gosh, this, this, I, I have to try to be something, but don't just be you because that's going to draw people in and connect with, with who you're, you're, ideal audience is going to be <clears throat> remember before you know your photo sessions your energy introduces you so so coming to the for the session you want to do whatever it takes to make yourself as comfortable as possible so sometimes we build up this stuff in our head and we tell ourselves all this stuff that you know brings us down draws out and I have done that plenty of times just know that I have done that plenty of times a good photographer will help you get out of that but we're not going to really at conference have that time to connect with the photographer as much so you want to kind of do this before but you know if you're if you're in your hometown and you, you're getting some photos done um, make yourself as comfortable as possible you want to look relaxed and happy and I'm thinking that you know before before you get some photos at conference laugh a lot so have some fun get your team to laugh with you just relax a little bit do a little dance do a jiggle be a bit silly just you know move a bit so that you you get that energy that's you know relaxed happy and not stiff um, I've definitely been stiff in photos and um, yeah, it's, it, it does come across, it comes across um, when, when it's like an awkward or, you know, you, you don't have that energy. So really think about how to bring that energy up. Um, and the best way would just be, you know, be with some team, people that you love, connect have a little bit of a fun you know enjoy yourself in the process so I'm going to take you through some tips for your photography session like I said these these will apply to conference but probably more um you know it, it would even apply if you've got your your phone um because sometimes you you want to put aside time um you know go out with with a friend or your partner or whatever and you can just take your phone, um, you know, if you're at home, show, show yourself at home doing different things, but you might want to set it up a little bit as well. And so these little tips will help you that you, you have this in mind. You know, I, I remember we went on an incentive trip and one of my team, she had worked out completely her wardrobe the photo she wanted, how she wanted to position her, her, the products, you know, she had it all sorted. Now, it wasn't a professional photography session, but it was a, a, a session that she had put some a lot of time into thinking through what she wanted in that photography session. So the, the best thing is keep your target market, target, I said target, in mind, so your target market, um, how do you want your audience to feel? So really think about that. Like what kind of emotions do you want them to feel when they look at the images that you put up on social media? So the most important thing is know your audience better than you know anything um, and, you know, I'll be taking you through that in conference, but, you know, it, pretty much you're going to attract who you are, really, you, you'll be those few steps ahead of them, um, but you'll attract those kind of people. So um, you might want to think a little bit, though, about, okay, who is my target audience? 
um, who is, what, what is my niche? You know, for me, it's 40 to say 60 year old women. I'm really focused on that niche um, and the problems that they face. So I'm really, I'm focused on, okay, what are they wanting? So you might think a, bit, a little bit more about, you know, who your audience are. Um, and they're probably already following you because it's you, it's it's who you're connected to. Um, what would they be attracted to? So, you know, are they attracted to travel? Are they attracted to health? Um, you know, what are they, what what sort of things are, is, is it family? Is it, you know, if it's if your target market's like young families and kids, uh, uh, you know, what would they be attracted to? Um, what would they find relatable? And again, it's like, you know, connect, they want to connect to you. So what do they relate to? Um, and generally it is about your journey. Like I said, you're you're going to be a few steps ahead of them. So maybe they relate to, you know, when before you started the business or before you started the products um, and how you felt and, and you kind of become that aspirational person that they're looking to so what would they aspire to be um, think about that so wh what kind of things do they aspire to, to do or to be and what would interest them so you know when I went to Paris I had um, a photographer uh, who followed us around and took some photos of us around there <clears throat> But as you can see, you know, I want I want my the audience who aspires maybe to travel, um, maybe to do it with their children. Um, I wanted to kind of bring that in these photos. And like I said, don't you, you don't have to look at me and what I've done because I'm I'm not going to connect to your audience and your audience isn't going to connect to me most likely. So they want to connect to you. So, you know, it might be that you get to work in a cafe and you get some photos there, um, you know, working from home, like people that they, they like to work from home, but are you showing that you get to sit wherever in the house and start off your day slowly and, and, you know, be able to enjoy that? Um, you know, maybe it's <clears throat> that connection. So, you know, you know, think about at conference, you might want to have a photo done with one of your team to show, you know, you, you get connection in this business and because so many people are looking for connection. So think about, okay, what kind of things does my audience, you know, want and want to feel? And then get inspiration from Pinterest. I love using Pinterest. It's awesome. <clears throat> so, you know, you can get, you can just search um, in Pinterest for color palettes and find a color palette that you love, you know. And like I said, every everyone's different. You know, my colors tend to be sort of the golds and I'm actually wearing the same color I noticed. I didn't even realize that, but that's just naturally comes to me. The golds, um, the whites, the creams, the blacks, <clears throat> those sort of colors are what I like. I'm, I don't have a lot of bright colors in my wardrobe, um, but like I said, you, you be you and find the colors that you love. Um, and you don't have to be worrying about trying to put it into to camp or anything like that it's just about you know down, finding those colors that really speak to you and there's so many um I would really encourage you just to take um what you see on there because you don't have to try to work it out yourself actually if you're not a professional at working out colors that go together it's probably not going to go together. So you're better to actually take, you know, the color palettes that you see there. Um, you know, think, look at props, okay? What kind of props are people using in their photos? You know, they're, they're, you might have, there might be a laptop, there might be, um, you know, a phone, a, a, a coffee mug, those sorts of things. Um, you know, what? how are the people doing their hair? What kind of makeup? You know, most likely it's not like a full-on overdone makeup, which is great. It's just sort of a, a little bit more than natural. And then what kind of poses? You know, what kind of poses are people at their laptops? Are they holding a mug? 
you know, get some inspiration. And Sharon's going to share a link at the end of, you know, some that I have, I've got a folder in Dropbox um, that I, I've put together um, of some photos. So you can have a look at those. But I also encourage you, if you go to Pinterest, you can look at re research branding pho photography. And there'll be some some in there. And it, there might just be something that speaks to you, you know, that you really like the look of. And these are just some that, you know, I've put together, um, you know, for, you know, for what I was looking for. Um, but, you know, the, as you can see, there's some have like it, 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 sitting at the laptop with a cup. You know, there's a girl, at the lady at the bottom there. She's actually just really relaxed on a lounge She's got some books around her and a coffee cup. So at conference, there is going to be a lounge. There's going to be a table. There's going to be some plants um, that they'll put together in that area. But, you know, you, you could also think about if you're going to do your own photos, you know, what, what you could do. Um, but, yeah, you, you can have a look at these and see, okay, what, you know, what, what have they done with their hair? What, what kind of jewellery? What kind of clothes? You know, some of them have a little bright spark here and there. I, and I'll give you a little recommendations on that. But, you know, they've got plants. Those kinds of things just bring life to the photos. Um, and, you know, they're generally looking happy and, and, you know, excited. And I did throw some in there for the men because um, some of these, um, James, I had, we had got in that um, link as well. So he, he used those for some of his branding photos too. So I just wanted to not just give for women, but for men too, sort of the sort of poses that you could use for what you're doing. Okay, now the next part is planning what you will wear. So you want to feel comfortable and like yourself. So avoid clothes that are too tight or uncomfortable. And I have to say, you know, one time I wore something that was just uncomfortable and it just, it, 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 it makes you feel uncomfortable and you don't feel good. So just feel, clothes that feel like you, uh, but again an elevated version of you for example when I'm at home working I'm probably pretty daggy I'm not really going to show that side of things um you know I, I, but I, I probably would sometimes wear just a you know a, a blousy kind of thing with jeans that would be who I am as well as well as the more put together looks that I, I tend to have um Choose colors that are similar to your brand colors. While you don't have to always stick to those colors, um, if it, you want them really to tie in, you know, for me, I wouldn't wear orange, although I have a peach dress that looks quite nice, um, but I wouldn't probably go for like a bright orange. Um, you know, for I, I do have a red dress, but I probably wouldn't wear that in my brand colors. But you can choose colors that are similar to your brand colors. Dress like you, but the best version of you, like I said, like, you know, um, think about, okay, what kind of, again, what kind of feeling do I want to bring across, um, you know, professional and or is it more of a relaxed kind of feeling that I want to bring across? So you want to really stay, stay true to who you are. Um, stay away from bright, bold prints, even though you might wear them. Um, in a photo, it's if you want to wear like a bright, bold color, um, I wouldn't recommend like fluoro or anything. I don't know if anyone wears fluoro anymore, but that's, um, but if you if you really like bright colors don't do it in a print so if you if we go back you can see like you know there's a bright yellow there and there's a a goldy bright gold and there's a little bit of um green um pair it down with say a jean or a plain top or a, but bright bold prints they, they take away from you and we really want to focus on you. So um, I would recommend 
um, if you want those bright colors just pare it down a little bit and not as a print um, really important because prints will take away from that and then they they you, yeah you it's better not to go that way like I said if that is your brand though and you are like fully into those bold prints then go for it like I said it's this is about you but just a little bit of a recommendation is go for more of a, a, a plain color wear clothes that fit well so you know you don't really want to wear like the big baggy kind of clothes um, you know, you, you might think you're kind of hiding in that. It, they don't come across as, as nicely. So wear clothes that fit you well, like not super, not tight and comfortable, but not like, you know, super baggy either. Um, cause then sometimes the photos can come across as, um, in a photo that can look like flouncy and make you actually look bigger than, than what you are. So just, just fit well. You know, you 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 got to be comfortable and be comfortable in who you are. You know, it, you know if you're curring a little bit, just own it and and know that, like I said, you're going to you're you're going to attract the right people to you. Um, you know, and there's things that you can do in the photo shoot to kind of hide that um, or um, you know present yourself in the best way as well you know, generally, you know, that's something that's just uh, top up works really well. Um, and I'll give you a couple of tips sort of at the end about, um, you know, like one of the things that I can tend to do is go like this and I got a double chin happening. Um, so just stretching your neck a little bit. Um, and I still forget to do that. Hey, I still come out and I've got this double chin, which I tend to notice. <laughs> Um, so it's just like stretching your neck, just little things like that. Um, but they're not overthinking that because then you are going to look awkward. And, you know, it's just about having a little practice and, and feeling good. Um, and then, yeah, we, we tend to be our worst critic sometimes. So don't go there. Um, you're beautiful. So keep your makeup natural. Um, so you don't want overly done makeup. It, it, it doesn't look great. And I will tell you on one of them, I thought, oh, go and get my makeup done professionally. And it was way overdone, even though I said don't overdo it. It was way overdone. And they used products on my face that caused irritation because I've got quite sensitive skin I only use organic products on my skin and they didn't use that and so um you know it's those yeah I I I, I use organic and so I've known now I do not get my make if when I get my makeup done I take my own products um but you know that that's really important to me to because all I had was like itchy eyes. I tried to rub it off. I felt uncomfortable. I didn't feel myself. Um, so you really just want to keep it natural, but a little bit elevated, you know, a little bit more because that's going to come out better on your photos as well, rather than, um, yeah, than just too light. You know, you want a fairly good coverage on that especially as you get a little bit older uh, you you might need to cover up some of the the red spots or whatever um but yeah just just keep it natural though okay plan your location so this is more about if you're doing it in your hometown or, or whatever but um you know we've already got a location pick there and like I said, there'll be lounges and a desk and some plants. But you want to think about, you know, at, at home, what kind of environment and surroundings would you like to be photographed in? Um, you know, and, and that might be just like outdoors, um, you know, in your kitchen, like 
if you're really focusing on the health side of Manatech and maybe making smoothies, that sort of thing, being in your kitchen would be great because you can, or, you know, if you've got a friend who's got a great kitchen, you know, just ask, can I come in and get some photos done? I'm sure they'll be fine. Um, but, you know, just with, with some veggies and that sort of thing, maybe your products, you know, th those kinds of things work really well. Um, outdoors look lovely, you know, that greenery, it always looks nice, um, you know, in your office. Um, lounges, cafes, like, you know, quite a, I've had a, quite a few in cafes. <clears throat> and like I did in, in Paris, she actually followed us around. Well, actually, she was a tour guide who was also a photographer, but she, she took us around and to different cafes and locations. But um, cafes work really nicely and it really works well with what we can do, like the, the idea that you can build your business anywhere. And if you're at a cafe in the middle of the day and you work in your business, people are going to pay attention to that. Uh, hotels, so I've definitely done it in some hotels as well. Um, and maybe even hire a nice Airbnb, you know, <clears throat> and that's one thing I'm looking at for my hometown is like a, a nice Airbnb, have it for the weekend, um, and then get a branding photographer in to take those, those beautiful shots in an Airbnb. So it's in that home environment as well. If you've got a great house, then do it in your own home. <clears throat> um, and parks, you know, the, all of those sort of things work really well for where you would have your location. <clears throat> and then make a shot list. Um, so think about if there are any, any shots that you actually need. So, you know, if you're thinking about like a conference, um, you know, it, would it be sitting on the lounge, um, holding a coffee, um, you know, we can't bring our pets to conference, but if you're at home or whatever, that's a nice kind of thing to, to have in your photos because it just shows, like, a lot of people feel anxiety leaving their pets at home, um, you know, and I don't like to leave my dogs too too long by themselves, but I don't have to, which is great. Um, so, you know, you might have a pet on your lap, and that's a really lovely shot too. Um, <clears throat> So also think about shots that might have a little bit of a blank space if you're wanting to put words on, on your shots. Um, so, you know, you might have, you might be standing over to one side and, and have space for your words. Um, you working on your laptop, using your phone, holding a smoothie, that, that also looks good. It generally it looks good if you're, you're doing something rather than just kind of standing there and you're not you know, it, it, that looks a bit stiff. So think about, you know, do you want to be holding a smoothie? Do you want to be on your laptop? Um, do you want to be with a team member? So, you know, talk to your team member and maybe be together so that you can sort of show that, you know, you, there's place for connection and community in, in the business. Um, think about the story that you want your photos to tell. You know, it, 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 a lot of those photos that you've seen, like they told a bit of a story um, with your hands. Are you going to fold them? You know, you can touch your hair a little bit. Um, I know a lot of photographers have, have got me to do that. I don't particularly like that photo. I think it looks a bit like, but I've, I have seen a lot where they do that. Um, like I said, holding a prop um, or pushing your hair behind your ears, that can also work in photos too. <clears throat> So as you can see, you know, these ones, like there's different props in there. So we've got a laptop, a notepad with a pen. Um, you know, there's a gold lamp in the background over onto the other side. You know, there's some glasses, that sort of thing. Um, you know, photo of James because I wanted to bring in for the, the men as well. Um, so he's sort of more standing up with his coffee cup. He's got some books and a planner there in front of him, um, you know, and he's sort of 
pointing or touching the, the laptop and looking down at that. So that was the, that was just at a cafe, that one down the bottom, the ones up the top were at a hotel. So, you know, you just show, sort of showing those different places where you can get photos done. Um, obviously, you know, we know the cafe owners and if you do, if you're a regular, generally uh, they're not going to have a problem with that. But, you know, at conference, you want to be thinking about, okay, what kind of things do I want? Do we want to be looking at the camera? Do we want to be looking off? I do recommend, um, you know, quite a few actually looking at the camera. I think they work really nicely um, because people can connect to that. But you might get some others where you're kind of looking off to the side or looking down at you know your laptop and things like that but you definitely want those ones where you're actually looking into the camera that's really important um so that brings me to okay what props do you need um yeah so Pauline I saw your your question um okay so what props do you need so it, it's totally up to you so that's why you need to do a little bit of research on Pinterest or those that link that you'll you'll be able to have a look at so just think about okay you'll need to bring your own props um obviously you know you, if you're traveling you, you, you know you can borrow crop um, props and things like that but you know if you've got a laptop um, note a nice notebook will look good good um, any kind of like desk material so maybe a pen or something so if you've got a note a notebook um, you can see on this actually just up the top here you know there's a pen with the notebook is open a uh, glass of water those sort of things you can definitely kind of do those things um, a smoothie so you know think about it if you want to really show that health and wellness side um, you might bring a smoothie your products so maybe you want to show um, you know you're taking some products so putting that into um, your hand or something like that um, those sorts of things you want to think about okay do I need to if I'm if I'm having a smoothie do I need to bring my shaker or how do I want to present it you might present it in in a beautiful glass so bring your shaker pour it into the glass and be holding your glass um, that will look nicer or you if you have like the Manatech shaker you can even just bring it in that um, and have it ready um, if you've got a favorite coffee mug and what you you probably uh, saw in some of those photos was a coffee cup sometimes that's a way to bring in a little bit of your brand color so if you really like those bright blues um, you can bring that into your coffee cup. So think about that. If you've got a coffee cup or maybe you go out this week and look for a coffee cup that would work really well, um, that always looks nice. It kind of it look, it kind of makes it look a bit home. Like, yeah, you're, it's more warmth. It brings a little bit more warmth to that. Um, what jewellery do you want to be wearing? Like what um some people love a lot of jewelry I'm I'm more of a simple jewelry kind of person but if if you if your brand is lots of bold jewelry then think about that um you do want your your photos to be fairly timeless um although they generally only last like because you change you but I think those Paris ones were probably well, five years ago so they were quite a while ago um, but I just kept it quite timeless. Uh, glasses, you know, if you wear, if you want to wear glasses, make sure you bring them to that. Um, and then I'd really recommend this. So um, accessories like hats or scarves or jackets. So you might have like if you, for example, if you have like your jeans and a, and a shirt, take a jacket along because that can change the look up a little bit and it's super quick to change so you might be sitting on the lounge with um you know the the jeans and a shirt um pop on the jacket and with your laptop that's a slightly different look it's just going to lift it up a little bit um if you're you know you want to have a little bit more dressy and you're wearing like a a, a suit um take the jacket off um, and then it can just be like a shirt and the pants but think about you know if you if you want to have a hat um, that 
you can and that's part of who you are then you know bring that a scarf again I wouldn't overdo the prints on a scarf but definitely you could bring in that that little pop of color that will look good and it's it changes it up a bit um it, if you saw like in the the shots that I had in Paris um I had a coat on in some of them I took the coat off um and just had the black dress and then I popped a scarf around my neck in some other ones so even though I, I I had the, just the same clothes on. I was able to mix it up a bit. And, you know, at conference, we're not going to have a lot of time. So you probably only, you know, a short time. And that's why I really wanted to help you to think about all of this before. So you, you've got that all in mind, um, you know, where, okay, I'm going to get a photo in this, you know, take my jacket off or I'm going to put my jacket off on in, you know, a couple of other photos um, and, and it's just like a quick change, you, you know, you're not going to have time for changing clothes. So just know that There's, there won't be time for changing clothes, but you can mix it up a little bit so you can get a, a variety of photos there. But if you're doing it in your hometown, I would probably recommend a few changes of clothes um, that that would really work well. Um, you know, I haven't done I am going to do a branding um, photo session where I'm, you know, I'll, I'll change clothes and be in different environments. And, you know, because for me, health's a big part of what I do, but also business is, is, is important and that professional look I like. Um, but I also like, you know, a lovely blouse, um, some jeans, cooking in my kitchen, um, making smoothies, eating healthy, those sort of things are important too. So I would, you know, change that around a little bit too. And finally, <laughs> be kind to yourself. You know, I think we're so much our worst critics. And this is where I want you to really step in to that self-confidence and that self-belief that, you know, you are amazing. You, you you have so many experiences and things that you've overcome and struggles that you've gone through. Um, people, they, they want to connect to you. They want to connect to your story. And rather than pushing yourself down and, and you know, talking unkindly to yourself, um, which, you know, I, any women on here, I think we all know what that's like, you know, that little voice in our head that says, oh, you're, you know, you, you've got to you overweight, you, you don't look good, you, you, why would you think you could do that? But I want you to come into that place of you are worthy, you are worthy, you are valued, people want to see you. They do. They want to see you. There's something amazing about you and it's just about tapping in. I'm going to help you at conference really tap in to who you are and your story and how you can share that and how you can integrate that into your business. It doesn't have to be, well, this is my business over here. I'm over here. It's about integrating that and, and showing people who you are. You are loved. You're so People love you. And, I, you know, I, if I'm friends with you, I've seen that people, they, they love you. They want, they want to know you. And you're beautiful in your own way. You know, you might not be the magazine beautiful, but you are beautiful in your own way. And just step into that. Step into that self-confidence. Um, so a big thing is maybe do those affirmations before you start. So, you know, write something out, uh, you know, there used to be times and I still do it, you know, if I'm speaking at a conference or speaking somewhere or doing a call, even like this, I have some affirmations that I speak out before that, because I, I can be my worst critic and I know a lot of people would relate to this where I put myself down and I, you know, I'm like, oh, you know, and I, I go to that negative place. But when I start those affirmations and they kick in, um, it's such a different energy that comes across. And so before you, you know, before you start, your, the, you go and get your photos, before you do that, just 
have an affirmation that you know that whatever that is for you speak that out because that's going to come across that energy is going to come across and I know the times where I have not when I've been rushed and I felt you know yucky it, it came across for sure in in the photos that I had so really um a, this is a really big part of it um you know we put ourselves down we say who wants to see me people want to see you um people want to connect with you and remember people are buying you they're buying you before they're buying your products before they're buying the business they're buying you um and the only way that you can do that is start that connection and you know that's either through photos or through video um so start with the photos get that connection happening and finally uh, some thank you I'm going to give you some homework to to start to prepare so go to Pinterest and search for your color palettes um, find one you love so that way you you kind of know what photos like you're you're wanting like the colors and things choose what you will wear to reflect you and your brand find photos on Pinterest or on the link I'll send um, for inspiration for branding photography, create an affirmation and practice, practice, practice. So if you, if there's some shots that, you know, you like then practice it, just sit down, get someone to take some photos on, on your phone. Um, and, you know, that way you, you've, you've got a feel of, cause you're not at conference, we're not going to have a lot of time. Um, you just want to be ready okay this is I'm going to sit down and look at my laptop and obviously the photographer might give you some suggestions so go with that because they know what they're doing but if you've got a few ideas of, of you're not going to come and go all right I, I don't know what to do I'm just going to stand here if you've got some ideas and you could even show the photographer okay these are the kind of photos I'm looking for and they then they know exactly you're not going to copy it don't try to copy um because that's going to come across stiff but you know it's just for inspiration and then I wanted to finish off today and I want you to really take this in this is one of my favorite quotes and I want you to take this in please our worst fear is not that we are inadequate our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, fabulous? Actually, who are we not to be? You are a child of God. Your playing small doesn't serve the world. There is nothing enlightening about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure about you. We are born to make to manifest the glory of God within us. It is not just in some of us. I want you to know that it is not just in some of us. It is in everyone. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. And this is where it comes to is really connecting into who who you were created to be you know we've got this message and sometimes we hide it you know we we stuff it down but if you step into who you are um and share that with the world and and stop playing small you will draw people in it's like this magnet and that's why I've called it magnetic brand because you draw people into you people are they, they're they're just it's like a moth to flame they're connected to who you are you you radiate this this beauty and this magnificent and and that's where I want you to go with this. Like this is this isn't just about photos. This is about you stepping into who you can be and who you are created to be, and not letting another year go by where you hide, um, where you hide not only yourself but what we have in Manatech and the products that can change lives. We all know those transformation stories. We all know what the business can do. And just stepping into who you are and who you're created to be, because it is, it's magnificent. 
um, you are created to to shine that light to the world and and draw people in. Um, so I really I hope that you step into that this year. This isn't just about photography. Photography could just be, um, you know, it, that can be a head thing. But I want you to go to the heart of it. Like, uh, who who do I really want to connect to? And the more that you go to that heart, um, the more you get out of that that headspace where you know is negative. We go to that heart space where where we're thinking about who we're connecting to and the message that we want to bring to the market. Um, I'm so excited to share more with you at conference and really dig deep into those stories that make you who you are um I haven't had your experiences you know we haven't had the same experiences and so connecting into those experiences and those stories and the things that make you who you are um that's powerful and when you step into that like you are going to draw people in in and guys we've had some tough years like we we all know that um you know sometimes it's it's just been like let's just get through these years <laughs> in many ways it's like oh my gosh um i got to try to protect things um but i think this is about stepping into that now and owning that 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 brilliance inside of you and bringing it out for others. Um, so I am so excited to share that with um, you for conference. I think we've had a few questions. So I'll just quickly pop in if there's anything. Uh, how many photos I are taken at conference? Um, I think it, it, it will only be a smallish segment so you know that that's why we're trying to prepare you it'll probably be like five to ten minutes and I'm not sure um how many people will take it up but I'm hoping that now the people on this call feel a little bit more comfortable with with doing it um but you know it'll probably be about that five to ten minutes so you really want to be prepared with what you want the look that you're going for all of those sorts of things um so yeah any any other questions or anything uh, there was a question about bringing your own props, but I think you said you recommended that they do. Yeah, for sure. You definitely want to be bringing your own things um, or, you know, it, it, I know some of you are traveling. So if you ask someone local, they might bring something for you or generally you can pack something in your bag. Like if it's a special mug or something like that, you can pack that in, in your bag. So, um, yeah, that's that's basically it. Perfect, Naomi. So God bless you. Um, you. Lots of joking in the chat, as of course. <laughs> it's very confronting, um, this photo business. But um, And it seems to be nobody's alone in feeling confronted if you're feeling confronted. And I just want to mention that I put your last uh, checklist to do list on, in the comments on Facebook. So mm -hmm. in the event, you can get it there. I can't do that on, I don't think I can put an image on YouTube. But anyway, we'll um, work something out. So definitely it's on Facebook already. And thank you everybody for being here and supporting the calls. Naomi, you've blessed us once again. Thank you very much. And we'll see you in a week. Yeah, excited. See you everyone. See you awesome. So everybody, no call next week. Remember that. And um, we'll be coming back to report all the fun and education the week following. So have a great day, everyone. See ya.